Good morning everyone and welcome to Distance Learning. Today we're going to have a very interesting lesson about zero conditional. Student book page 105. So by the end of today's lesson we will be able to recognize the use of zero conditional. Okay, let's start with activity A. Here you're going to read the examples, then Tell me, when do we use the zero conditional? Here you're going to match the sentences 1 and 2 with the rules A and B. But before that, let's read the two sentences together. If you win three games in this sport, you are the winner. Sentence number 2. If you hit water, it starts to boil at 100 degrees Celsius. I'll give you 5 seconds, then we'll check your answers. Okay guys, so sentence number one, if you win three games in the sport, you are the winner. Excellent guys, is to make statement about the real world. Whereas sentence number two, if you hit water, it starts to boil at 100 degrees Celsius, is to refer to general truth or scientific facts. I believe it's clear now. Let's move on to watch a video, then we will discuss it together. What is a conditional sentence? A conditional sentence is a sentence you use to express about a cause and effect. That's it. Bye-bye. Just kidding. But, to be real, there are many types of conditionals, but the first type that we will learn here is the zero conditional. The formula is, if or when, simple present verb then simple present verb but what is it used for you ask you use zero conditionals to express facts rules and things that are 100 percent true so for example check out this sentence if you heat ice it melts is this a scientific fact Will the effect happen 100% if the cause happens? Then this is a zero conditional sentence. Let's try another example. This time, let's play a game. Let's play tic-tac-toe. If you get three crosses in a row, or three O's in a row, then you win. If you can't, then you lose. These are the rules and this is also a zero conditional. So, these are examples of zero conditional sentences. You can use zero conditional sentences for facts and rules. Can you make examples of zero conditional sentences? Write them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to click to subscribe for more English grammar tips. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching the video. Now let's summarize. We have here four examples. So we say if you mix black and white, you get a gray. Number two, if you heat ice, it melts. Number three, if you mix blue and yellow, you get a green. And last one, if you don't water the plant, it dies. So as you can see here, we use the zero conditional for two things. First of all, to talk about the general truth, I mean scientific fact, or to make statement about the real world. Okay, gentlemen, a few things to remember about the zero conditional. First of all, we use a comma to separate the if clause from the main clause. But if the if clause is at the beginning of the sentence, whereas we don't use a comma if the if clause is at the end of the sentence. Let's have a look at the first example. If we recycle, we help save the environment. So, if we recycle is the F clause. We help save the environment is the main clause. Let's take a look at the second 
Example. If you mix white and black, you get gray. Here, as you can see, if you mix white and black, which is the F close, you get a gray is the main close separated by a comma in both examples. But remember, guys, that we use the verbs in present simple only. Okay, guys, time to practice. Now, I would like you to read these two sentences. Then you're going to complete the rule about the formation of the zero conditional. But before that, let's read them together. If you win three games in this sport, you are the winner. Sentence number two. If you hit water, it starts to boil at 100 degrees Celsius. I'll give you five seconds, then we'll check your answers. Okay, let's check your answers now. So, we say here, if plus, present simple. Very good, comma, present simple. So remember, guys, again, that the zero conditional, we use the present simple only. Okay, let's move to activity C. Here, you're going to match the two halves to make sentences. But before that, let's discuss the first example together. If you hit ice, excellent, the answer is C, it melts. So I'll give you now five seconds, then we will check your answers. Okay, guys, let's start with example number two. If you score 12 points, very good, the answer is D, you win the game. Number three, if you mix blue and yellow, Excellent. You get green. The answer is B. If you don't drink water, amazing. You get thirsty. So the answer is E. And last one. If you win the match, very good. You get the trophy. The answer is A. So that's all for today. And I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. But please do activity B, C, and D, page 112, 113, and Log on to your team's account and do the quiz. Good luck.